Hey friends, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I am Dr. Bhanachuk. I have started an exam series in which I will be covering important topics of oral pathology. The purpose of this video is to help you identify topics that have been asked in previous examination. This does not mean something else cannot be asked but the probability of these topics to be asked is much more than the others. Today in this video I will be sharing with you important topics from the chapter 2 that is benign and malignant tumors of oral cavity. We have already covered chapter 1 that is disturbances of oral and paraoral structures. So now let's get started with our today's topic. So I have divided this chapter into few parts. First is questions that are asked from benign tumors of epithelial tissue origin. In this the important topics are squamous papilloma, keratoacanthoma and oral nevi. Although oral nevi it may be usually asked as part of MCQ or fill up the blanks but you should know this topic. Next pre-malignant lesions or conditions of epithelial tissue origin. This is extremely important and there is definitely going to be a question on this. Please read this uh, part very nicely. So the important topics are define pre-malignant lesions and condition, enumerate pre-malignant or pre-cancerous lesions and conditions, epithelial dysplasia, leukoplakia, hairy leukoplakia, intra-epithelial carcinoma or carcinoma in C2, erythroplakia and OSMF. These are extremely important topics. Definitely there is going to be a question on one of these. Proliferative varicose leukoplakia and leukoedema, they are not very frequently asked but you should at least know about these. Next, malignant tumors of epithelial tissue origin. In this, the important topics are enumerate malignant tumors of epithelial origin, basal cell carcinoma or rodent ulcer, epidermoid carcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma or it is oral cancer. So, you can be asked about oral cancer. Usually, the question comes as oral cancer of tongue. Staging and grading of squamous cell carcinoma or TNM classification of lip and oral cavity carcinomas. Varicose carcinoma, malignant melanoma. Coming to benign tumors of connective tissue origin, in this common topics are oral fibroma, peripheral ossifying fibroma, central ossifying fibroma of bone. These two are not very important but you should know about it. You can be asked to write about giant cell and enumerate giant cell lesions. Peripheral giant cell granuloma. Central giant cell granuloma, aneurysmal bone cyst, lipoma, oral hemangiomas, lymphangioma, torus palatinus, torus mandibularis. Next, malignant tumors of connective tissue origin. In this, enumerate non odontogenic connective tissue malignant tumors fibrosarcoma, Kaposi sarcoma, Ewing sarcoma, osteosarcoma, non Hodgkin's lymphoma, African jaw lymphoma or Burkitt's lymphoma. Hodgkin's lymphoma, multiple myeloma. Hemangioparisitoma, it is not asked as a question, but there can be an MCQ or fill up the blanks. Where do you see staghorn pattern? So remember that staghorn pattern is seen in hemangioparisitoma. Coming to benign tumors of nerve tissue origin, in this neurilemoma or neurofibroma can be asked. Some extra questions that can be asked are enumerate white lesions of orofacial region. Enumerate or classify non-odontogenic tumors of oral cavity, teratoma, special stains, definition of neoplasm, congenital epulis. So friends, we are done with the important topics for the chapter benign and malignant tumors of the oral cavity. I hope these topics help you to prepare for examination. You can like and follow me on my Facebook page below. Also, feel free to ping me on my WhatsApp number mentioned below if you like to get yourself added in my WhatsApp group where I can solve any of your queries or have one-on-one -on -one discussion. Also, it takes lots of effort to make such videos. Your one like can give me lots of encouragement. So, do like, subscribe and share for more such oral pathology videos. Thank you.